let me call upon Reverend Father Sabu, our Vice Principal, to come on the stage to introduce about the importance of today. Our patron saint, Saint Joseph. Reverend Father George, our manager, Reverend Father Peter, our principal, respected teachers, and my dear children. Today, as you know, we are celebrating the feast day of our patron saint, Saint Joseph, patron saint of our school. We used to celebrate birthdays. Our birthdays and birthdays of very important persons, we celebrate with, uh, with joy. And what is the difference between birthday and feast? Because we say today is the feast day of St. Joseph. Feast day is usually celebrated on the day of death, death anniversary of a saint. Saint in the Catholic Church means a very holy person who has been declared to be a saint who is supposed to be in heaven. And on the day of the death, that person is born in heaven. He lives his earthly life and enters into heavenly life. So it's the birthday of a saint in heaven. That's why we celebrate it. We just not commemorate it. We celebrate it. So, today we celebrate the death anniversary. That is the feast of Saint Joseph. Now, who is Saint Joseph? We all know. Father of, foster father of Jesus Christ. Jesus Christ's Father is God the Father, Heavenly Father, God. But on earth, He was given a foster father to bring Him up in, on earth. So, Saint Joseph is the foster father of Jesus Christ. And St. Joseph was a very holy man, a very simple man living in a village called Nazareth in the present Palestine. He was a very simple carpenter working hard for his family and for the village also. So now, by celebrating his feast day today, by remembering him today, we get a message that St. Joseph was a very hard-working person, very hard-working person working day and night and enjoyed his work. He took pride in his work. He took pride in the dignity of work. All of us do some work, right? And you know, your parents are working very hard day and night to bring you up properly. Perhaps many of your parents go for work early morning, even before you leave for the school. And they reach very late at night also. That means the whole time they are working, working for you. And what's your work? Your work 
is to study. As a student, your work is to study, study well. And that responsibility you have to do. Thinking and seeing that your parents are working. Every kind of work has dignity in it. Every kind of labor has dignity in it. There is nothing to be ashamed for doing any kind of work. That is the message given by St. Joseph. He was a carpenter, making furniture and many other work with wood. And he enjoyed his work. He took pride in his work and did his job perfectly. People were happy with his work and he contributed to his society in which he was living. That's what is expected from all of us. We have to work hard, we have to take pride in our work, we have to enjoy our work and contribute to our society. So with that intention we have to study, we have to go up. So taking this message let us celebrate with this uh, holy uh, feast of St. Joseph. Wish you all the best. God bless you. Thank you very much. God, you gave St. Joseph the incredible and awesome joy of joining Mary in caring the child Jesus. Through Joseph's intercession and the prayerful remembrance, we make to him grant us the grace to nurture and to remain always close to Jesus, to be protective of the little ones, to be concerned about the poor and the marginalized and leave your plan of building heaven on this earth through our life and activities. Help us, as St. Joseph did, to live justly and walk humbly with our God, to be kind-hearted and compassionate, to trust and be faithful to your, your will and plan on us, to be united and reconciled with the people near and around us. We ask this in the name of Jesus, your Son, who lives with you, source of all being, and with the Holy Spirit. Amen. Let us lift up to God all our intentions and needs to the Almighty, through the intercession of our patron, St. Joseph. For our manager, gracious and ever-loving God, we thank you for the presence of our dear father, their care and love, concern and hard work, courage and integrity. Through them, we too experience your presence. Give them a deep faith, a bright and firm hope, a burning love, which will ever increase in the course of their priestly life. As the book of Proverbs says, help them to acquire wisdom and understanding to provide a graceful garland for their head as they totally dedicate themselves to you on this earth which bestow a crown of honor on you, Lord. Likewise, help them to become an instrument of your graceful presence. For this, let us pray to the Lord. Hear our prayer, O Lord, hear our prayer, O Lord, and join thy ear to us, and grant us our peace. For our teachers, Lord, 
We pray for our beloved teachers who are joining with us. May they grow in grace and wisdom. In areas where they will act, provide them knowledge, understanding, counsel and fortitude. Keep them safe from all illnesses and protect them from all harm. Inspire them with the vision of your kingdom and help them to become the instrument of your love and grace. For this, let us pray to the Lord. Almighty and ever living God, we lift up to you all of our students for the blessing of wisdom, understanding and memory. Thank you for the gift of being able to write each day with assurance that you walk through it with them. Thank you for the gifts of creativity and uniqueness and the energy to put them to good use. Lord, make them ready, attentive and available to listen to you. Especially, we pray for those who are continuing their 10th and 12th board exam. Lord, help them to devote their energy to study their subject. Be with them in their life journey and bless them to be bright their future. For this, let us pray to the Lord. Hear our prayer, O Lord. Hear our prayer, O Lord. Incline thine ear to us and grant us our peace. For non-teaching staff, thank you, Lord, for all the non-teaching staff members who help us every day. We lift up each and every one of them who help our future to become successful learners and citizens. God, we know school cannot operate without these important individuals. Lord, help them to be healthy. Grant them your divine power, patience and dedication for doing their work sincerely. For this, let us pray to the Lord. Hear our prayer, o Lord. Hear our prayer, o Lord. And near to us. Now let me call upon our respected principal, Father Peter, for the concluding prayer. The Bible says, St. Joseph was a just man. Thank you, Lord, for the person of St. Joseph to give him St. Joseph as our patron of the school. Thank you, Lord, for this day. Thank you, Lord, for all the blessings you have showered upon us through the intercession of St. Joseph, to our school, to the management, to the students, teachers, and supporting staff, above all, to our parents. Lord, bless each one of us that we may show justice to the people whomever we are come across, whomever we are related to in our day-to-day -day running of the school. In our journey, let the intercession of St. be with us in all our endeavors, teaching, learning, playing, and in developing intellectual, spiritual, physical, and all in our activities. This we ask through Christ the Lord. Amen. Now, let me call upon our respected Father George, the manager on the stage, to deliver us the message of this day. Dear Reverend Father Peter, Principal, Reverend Father Sapu Thomas, Vice Principal, Cecily Mann, Reverend Sisters, Respected Staff, and my dear beloved children. Very good, very good morning, all of you. Today, we are celebrating 
the patrons day was to st george first of all i wish you all a very happy christmas with lovely wrong a few reflections that's already given by reverend father sabatomus st george is the right person to lead and guide our institution up hill as you all know that joseph was a faithful husband of mary mother of god and the host of all of jesus christ son of god he is known for many aspects of the church like the patron of families patron of workers and so on it is true that we get very few references and about knowledge about joseph in the holy bible he is always silent in the holy bible yet he is not that passive but very active and non dressing the lord spoke to joseph to the angels on many occasions and he listened very carefully and responded to god's word by acting on it only and faithfully he just obeyed in faith all that god wanted of him friends we are looking for or seeking for the real knowledge and the real truth which can help us to form our bright future we want to fly in the sky that is our dream but we need strength power and protection dear students let us try to learn from st joseph who taught us how to listen the voice of god and how to respond properly to the voice of god in this happy moment i wish you all once again a very wonderful happy in this joyful occasion we gratefully remember our dear lord's teacher sesame now the time has come to be our man to be farewell to us i am here to say a few words of thanks for her last 31 years of meritorious services which she had rendered to all of us her contributions are many to this institution of course she was an ardent support and help all of us especially to the management it is my great privilege to get an experience how she gives permission to the students and preparing the students to face the realities of life she has played a great role not only in the formation of our school markets but also played a key role among the needy dear mom your strong decision loving nature kind attitudes are remarkable dear mom you have the generous heart to receive all and the available all for all you you are smiling approach attracts 
many people, both students and teachers alike. Dear man, I appreciate your extraordinary discipline. We cannot forget your selfless service behind all this, all activities. It is true that her bidding farewell will be a great loss, but she has printed many sweet memories in our minds of students, teachers, and parents during the last 51 years of her life here. So, dear loving sister man, I, in the name of management, teachers, supporting staff, their children, I extend to you the big name for all the social services you have rented in this institution and each other. We are wishing you a happy and healthy life and pray that the good Lord bless and guide you wherever you go and whatever responsibilities you may take. Care. Thank you. Thank you very much. And request Father Manager to honor her. Our great teachers need to retire one day. Our dearest Sisley ma'am, you have left footprints on the hearts and minds of so many students. Ma'am, enjoy your retirement. A good teacher is like a candle. It consumes itself to light the way for others. Teaching has always been considered as a noble profession. Never a good teacher looks for her own success and endeavor. They always have their students present future in their minds. We are also very happy to welcome Cecily Mills' husband, daughter, son-in-law, and grandchildren. Dear friends, you're welcome. Silver Zone New Delhi conducted International Olympiads last year. Here are the results. Our St. Josephites won laurels and won the Olympiad with the state rank. Uh, let me call upon on the stage Hridan Jain from class 4. He won the Medal of Excellence class topper with a gold medal. Give a big round of applause for Hridan Jain. Chaitanya Pal won the Medal of Excellence gold. He was also a class topper. Now he is in 9th F, Chaitanya Pal. <laughs> Mukul Verma from class 10th D. The class topper won a medal of excellence gold for class topper. From class 12, we have Abhinav Koshik, class rank 1, won the medal of excellence gold. Give a big round of applause. Ayush Yadav of class 9 won the silver medal back the second position. Divyansh Kumar Singh won the silver medal from class 12A. Pranjal from class 5 won the Medal of Excellence. Congratulations to the winner. Thank you. <laughs> <laughs>